morning. It's Monday morning. I am just getting to school and getting some things ready for the day. I'm doing an egg osmosis lab with my biology kids. So I have some things I'll show you. I have like some eggs. They're going to look at like dissolving the shell off of eggs. So I have stuff for that. Um, I have these scales. I have to actually take these down to another teacher because she's going to use them before me. Uh, just do an outfit of the day real quick. It's it's Veterans Day, so I decided to wear this is a Brandy Melville um, sweatshirt. Just says USA. Has a oh, not that side. That side has a little patch on it, so it's kind of cool. Just wore a blue t-shirt from Target underneath. Um, these are Lucky Jeans, and then my Adidas Alpha Bounce shoes. Um, nothing too exciting this morning. <laughs> so, I am just here getting ready. Ooh, I decided to put my tables in a different format. So I did um, some in the front that are singles and then some uh, like that are groups of four and then I did two more singles and then I did four groups of four. So my largest class has like 37 kids in it and that is a biology honors class. So I do need a lot of seats in my room. Um, but like I said, so we're doing labs this week and then Maureen is going to do start some lab at the end of the week. Um, so it was just kind of like a good time to make the switch. I like to start the year out in rows and then shift to the groups. So that's it for now. I'll check back in with you guys later. See ya. So I figured I'd just show this real quick. My kids are doing in biology and osmosis lab with eggs. So today they did step one and they put them in vinegar. So they all like named their eggs, which is kind of funny. So that's all of one class. Those are my two. And then that is all of the other class. More to come tomorrow. So I'm sitting here on my planning period and I just got an email about um, a robbery that took place close to our school. And so we are on alert campus, which pretty much for us means that everything kind of operates as usual. We're just supposed to be super vigilant, make sure that our doors are locked and just be kind of like on guard in case something were to happen. And it made me think that I should get on and, and kind of film and just share that you know, this is a reality in our schools that we have to deal with on a regular basis now with everything that's been in the news over the past couple years about school shootings and all of that. Um, you know, there's, there's really nothing that prepares you in student teaching or in working in, you know, uh, working in other jobs that, that prepares you for getting an email saying something like that, that like your students might be in danger. And I know that like we have a lot of kids that leave early. Um, they call it OJT, but it's on the job training. And it just makes you worry that, you know, what if they were there, it was right after lunch, you know, what if they were there just getting a Polar Pop or something to eat on their way to their job and they might have been involved in that. Um, so, I mean, no real threat today, but just something to think about. We also got an email this morning that said that we are going to have an unannounced active threat drill this week. Uh, so there's that also that you just have to be constantly thinking that someone is going to attack you. And so at our job, it's not just educating kids and making sure that we have the, their best interest in mind, but it's also like protecting them and actually trying to think about, you know, if a, if there's a threat, are we going to run out my back door? Are we going to stay here? Are we going to throw things at somebody? Like, how are we going to counter that? Um, and I think that that's something that a lot of people don't think about when they think teaching. So 
just thought I would include that, not to be a downer, but um, it's one of the realities that we deal with. Just got done with a workout Monday afternoon. I am sure that I look a hot mess. Um, it's completely sweaty. I just got back in the car. I'm gonna go home and um, I have a little bit of filming to do for a video that I'm putting out on Wednesday and then do some editing and getting some dinner ready. I think we're gonna have burgers tonight. So it's Monday night. We stay in. I'll take you with me. This is the highly talked about, highly sought after, um, Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. I did order it on Amazon, but all the reviews were good. The box, the packaging looks legit. So that's what it is. Um, it's the apple lime flavor. I've never tried this. I've never even seen it. I've never even like seen it in a store. So, Bee Bird's freaking out. Comes with the little applicator, which I guess you can use. Um, I just washed my fingers, so it's not really that strong. I expected it to be like super strong. It hardly smells like, I guess a little bit like apple. It's really, it's like really soft. Like once you like warm it up a little bit. Mm -hmm. It feels really nice. Like really, like there's a lot of slip to it. Again, still not like a super strong scent. One thing that I like to do as much as possible is make sure that I put out all of the copies on the desks. Um, I keep all of my copies that the kids are supposed to get. I have like a pickup station by the door and so they know every day to stop there and see what they need to get for the day and that just eliminates the transition times of having to like hand stuff out. And then if there's any class copies, um, I will already have them out on the desks. And what I'll do a lot of times is um, if it's a class copy that I don't want them to write on, or if it's something that they can write and then erase after we go over it, I'll put them in screen protectors. And you can actually use Expo markers to write on these and then wipe it off when they're done. So um, this can also work if you want to have them do like a whiteboard activity. You can just have the blank paper, um, like a blank white paper in here, and then you can use it like an Expo marker. You can just get a little piece of felt, stick it in there, and then they can erase and hold them up so that you can do like a quick little assessment or review um, to see what the kids are getting. So I'll give you a little outfit of the day. Um, I have on this necklace that is actually like a, um, like a gemstone, and it kind of has like gemstones on the uh, cord as well. Um, I have on some small gold hoops and then my sweater is very very light. Um, it's actually like kind of see-through and it's from a brand called Lush. Um, I think I got it in the BP section of Nordstrom. I have like a top, uh, top shop tank top on underneath that's just ribbed. Uh, brown belt, 
These pants are from American Eagle. I really like them because they're really stretchy and they make nice work pants. I have these in black as well. And then I'm wearing these shoes. They're called Busola, B-U-S-S-O-L-A. And they are like a really nice um, kind of like knockoff of the Golden Goose, if you're interested in that style. They are not distressed like the Golden Goose ones, so they're a little bit nicer like to wear to work. Um, but they're very, very comfortable. They have like a memory foam footbed, so nice and comfy to do lots of walking around today. I've been up all day. I have lab going on, so that was a good choice. So tomorrow we actually have a half day. Well, the kids have a half day. We, as teachers, are here in the afternoon for meetings. And so our class periods are all like really short. We have, we see all of our kids, but we only see them for like 30 minutes each. So I have a four day lab going on in one of my classes. Um, that's probably all we will get to tomorrow. So I just have to get some things ready. Um, I'm actually kind of like ahead of the game and getting things ready more for like Friday. So uh, that is what I am going to do. I have some grades to enter and I'm just gonna be kind of sitting here. I have to make a trip up to the office. And that is about it. I'll check in with you guys after school. Hey everyone, it's after school on Tuesday. It's about three o'clock. And I am at the gym, I just parked. I'm gonna go in and get a workout. It's an upper body day, so I'm gonna do some overhead presses and then just some other accessory work. And today we had a meeting after school about a new time clock system that we're gonna get. So learned a little bit about that and now I'm gonna go get a workout. I will talk to you soon. Hi guys, it is Wednesday. Um, it is about 11 o'clock. We have a half day today, so um, I just, I am having a day. Uh, <laughs> I forgot my coffee this morning, which was just kind of like the start of it all. So I made that situation better, <laughs> went to Dunkin', got my coffee, all good, got here with plenty of time, um, got everything set up, and then I don't know what happened like I just I feel like these half days like you come into them thinking that like it's gonna be an easier day or that like I don't, I don't know but I just feel like throughout the day I've just been like overwhelmed with trying to help everybody and solve all the problems but, like do it in a shorter amount of time which um, like I'm a really routine driven person and so I think that maybe just like being off the routine and having different bell schedule and all of that stuff I think is just like weighing on me so it's my planning period I only have one more class to teach I know I can make it through um, the kids are done at 1250 today so there's that um, I think the school's buying us lunch like pizza and stuff so That'll be kind of nice, something to look forward to. And then I am a facilitator for our groups that we get into for the afternoon of our half days. So um, I will have a group of other teachers and school personnel in my room. And um, I think that our, our meeting is on trauma-informed care and social-emotional learning. And it's our last unit for these types of meetings for the year. So it's a little bit of like, 
yay, we're done with it, but at the same time, like, oh my gosh, I have a whole afternoon of facilitating this meeting that I have to get through still. <laughs> uh, I know I can do it. I just have to keep going. I just have to, just have to push through. Um, other than that, I feel pretty caught up. I kind of knew that I would feel this way today, so I made sure yesterday to get a lot of stuff done for the rest of the week, and then I don't think I'll have any, like, actual grading or prepping or anything to do until Friday, so that will be good. Um, I don't think I'm going to go to the gym today. I usually skip on Wednesdays, and... Um, tomorrow I have a hair appointment, so I can't go tomorrow either, so I'll have to go Friday and then one day this weekend, but say lovey is what it is, and then I think tonight I um, need to film another video that's going to go up on Saturday, um, so look forward to that. It'll be a teaching content video. I'm pretty excited about it. I just kind of put the finishing touches on what I want to go in there, so... Um, lots planned for this afternoon and this evening, and I will just take you with me along on the ride, and hopefully it gets better from here. So I do want to go ahead and do an outfit of the day. Um, today is Wednesday, and as always, we do jeans and college career t-shirts or sweatshirts or whatever. It's really cold this morning. It was like 53 degrees, which, Florida, it's cold. Um, so I wore my Westminster College, that's for my undergrad, um, wore that hoodie, I just have a gray t-shirt on underneath from Target, <laughs> uh, American Eagle brown belt, uh, page denim jeans rolled up at the bottom, and my Adidas Alpha Bounce, um, shoes on, and that's about it, I have like some gold hoops on my usual no necklace today because with a hoodie that never works out I always like go to take the hoodie off and end up ripping my necklace off instead so um, that's it that is my my fit for the day happy Wednesday So I am at my hair appointment. I just realized that I didn't vlog at all today. Um, yesterday was a hectic day and I just felt like I kind of needed to recover from it today and take a little bit of time for myself. So I did that and here I am. I'm going to get my hair done and hopefully then tomorrow is Friday and I'll feel like me again, ready to go back at it again um, and just feel better about my work. So. Um, I'll check in after I get my hair done and show you what it looks like. So I guess I should do like, here's the before. And ideally I'm looking for her to give me like a whiter color of blonde. Um, so we'll see what happens. So I know I was kind of like doing my outfit of the days this week too. Um, and then I kind of like forgot to do that yesterday and the day after, or the day before. So there's my outfit of the day. I have my Hudson cheerleading shirt on and I have on some lucky jeans, like cropped and rolled, um, Adidas shoes and my Kate Spade keys, which I usually actually don't wear. Um, but other than that, that's it. I just wore like gold hoops today as usual. No necklace. Um, like one little bracelet, a little WVU bracelet, and that's really it. So that is the fit for today. Okay, do you see this weather? This gray weather? It's cold out. This does not happen in Florida. It's like 62 degrees, it's like 2.45 in the afternoon, and it's like basically almost dark. Like this reminds me of a freaking winter day in Pittsburgh. Like I don't think I've seen this weather like maybe once since we moved down here, which I mean, I'm not complaining. <laughs> I like the sunny weather, but this is kind of cool. Uh, it's Friday afternoon. 
I am going to the gym. It's deadlift day, so I gotta go do that. And then I'm gonna go home and figure out what's for dinner. So I will catch you there.